Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit today. We're down uh, at this current stage minus 0.48%. And we're trading just underneath the 20 exponential moving average at 1382. So at this current stage, it looks like we're heading back towards the 100 moving average down here at 1373. As basically what it looks like. It, if you look at the other technical indicators, for example, the MACD is still in negative territory. It's still above the signal line, but we're still in this downward trend. Uh, we have the RSI that is, uh, is in... Um, is bearish uh, momentum. The CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around, still above the signal line, but all indicators are pointing to lower levels. We got close to the very top of the Bollinger Band and, and barely overstretched. And the way this has been behaving in the last few weeks or also months is that when we basically gotten close to the top of the Bollinger Band, it has broken really um, aggressively towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So we could see this a drop towards the bottom, which is at 1370, just underneath the 100 moving average or around the 100 moving average. So the 100 moving average has been significant support uh, the last few weeks. And, uh, and so it should be expected for the 100 moving average to be uh, support yet again this time. If we rally from here and break above the 50 moving average, then we are looking at uh, testing these previous highs here at 14.00. Uh, zero. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. And here we have fallen quite aggressively towards the down to a 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators for this currency pair are all turning around. We are in positive territory in the MACD and have crossed the signal line to the downside. So we are basically pulling back. The RSI is in bearish momentum, the CCI is bearish momentum, stochastic is, and we are just at the middle of the Bollinger Band here. So if the 20 exponential breaks, then we go, probably will go down towards the 40 exponential at 108, and then the 50 at 107, and after that all the way down to the 300 at 106. If we rally from here, then we're most likely going to test the previous highs here at 100. And 11. So at this current stage, momentum is to the downside. However, the 20 exponential has been an area where we basically have bounced off uh, in the past. So for example, here, we bounced off very nicely. And it's going to be an, an interesting to see whether or not we are going to do the same thing this time. So let's look at the euro US dollar. Here we have rallied quite significantly. So the euro US dollar found major support at the 300 moving average down here at roughly 1171. At this current stage, we're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are turning around. The momentum is to the upside. Uh, MACD is still in negative territory, so we're still in this downtrend, but we have crossed the signal line to and that is an indication of a, a bullish momentum and we have basically seen this bullish run the last uh, five six uh, training days five six training days so at the moment there is quite a lot of uh, resistance above we have the 40 exponential right here at 1191 then the 50 200 and so on so there is a massive amount of resistance that we have to get through in order to basically it uh, change the direction of this uh, of this trend uh, but 300 moving average is offering a lot of support here, but if that breaks, then we are looking for a much lower level for this current spare. Otherwise, um, we could expect a major resistance at the top here of the bullish band at 11.98, if we even get to that point. But at this moment, it looks fairly bullish. We are above the middle of the bullish band and we could head towards the top of the bullish band before pulling back. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. Also here, we have found uh, support down at 0 0.75 and have rallied all the way up towards the 20 exponential moving average, which is basically the uh, middle of the bullish band here. 
we have quite a lot of uh, resistance above with the 40, 50, and the 100 moving average. If we manage to break above the 50, then we are most likely going to test a 0.78. Um, if we break down from here, then uh, the 150 moving average at 0.75 will most likely act as support. Technical indicators are turning around. MACD is still in negative territory, has crossed the signal line, so it is... Um, it is an um, indication that we are basically rallying in this basically in this downtrend. With the RSI is in is basically bullish. The so CCI is bullish and the stochastic is bullish at this current stage. If we manage to break above the middle of the bullish band here, then we could uh, head towards the, um, the top of the bullish band at 0.77. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So this has been hanging around the the 50 moving average at 20 and 40, which are very tight here uh, for quite some time now. And basically, it's just more of the same. It looks uh, similar to the pattern that we saw here, the same the pattern that we saw here. That we're basically hanging around at the 50, and then we have a sudden drop towards the downside. It doesn't look like we are rallying towards the upside. There's just too much uh, resistance above. If we were to rally from here, then we'll most likely find major resistance at 100, uh, give or take uh, 1268. Uh, if that breaks, then we have the 150 here at 1281. To the downside, if we take out these uh, previous candlesticks right here, then we could head towards the very bottom of 1237. Uh, Technical indicators, they are fairly all over the place at this current stage. Uh, the MACD has crossed the signal, it is, it is bullish momentum. The RSI is bullish and the CCI is flat and the stochastic is basically bearish at this point. We are trading just at the middle of the bullish band. We could drop towards the bottom that and find resistance there. But uh, yes, that is to be seen at this current stage. We, we have basically just been going back and forwards for uh, a really long time now. So. Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new, newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.